right, we're going to unseat him. Another place converted to Sunni, good. The Prince of Decadence. Ruling dynasty of Portugal has been overthrown. Okay. Uh, I believe some can be discouraged. Yes, discouraged. Uh, this vassal from... Oh, he's a faction leader. Yeah. Uh, in a very powerful independence faction, actually. I'd very much like him discouraged from joining factions. Holy Fury. Uh, yeah, in Holy Fury, you can have a bloodline uh, make make by murder some mass baby murder for bloodline. That is... That is an incredibly difficult to understand sentence. I'm sorry, I do not know what you're talking about. There, that dropped that plot power by like, dropped it by a solid like 30%. All right, unsiege this place. I have I inherited a mosque. It must be one of these ones. Yes, I do not want it. So he just gave it away to someone. He must have been sick. We need to give away all this land soon, and our spy master is dying. We need to give away this land, though, because we're going to have internal stability issues. This guy is incredibly talented, but he's paranoid. This guy is incredibly talented and not paranoid, but he's ambitious, so he'll try to kill me. This guy. I like this hunchback. We're going to get this hunchback spy master. Approve the plan. Yes, we're killing the man even though we don't have a spy master. Because that is how bad that guy is. And how good our murder plot is. Yeah, I'm sucking in English, says Lord Samuel. Don't worry about it. English is a pretty difficult language. It's my only language, and I suck at it. I'll think of celebrate with beer. We killed the guy! There, and we, uh, we unseaged that land that he owned. Excellent. What is this? Uh, mission... We converted the majority population of a place. Okay. Or rather, one of my, uh... Oh, right, because that sultan was my imam, or is my imam. Okay, this went to some Shia child that I'm now going to revoke it from. So we can get that land out of Shia hands and put it back in proper Sunni hands for realm stability. I gotta say, we're looking pretty healthy here. This is looking good. The hunchback of Notre Mecca <laughs> successors. Man, I gotta say, the world's looking pretty uh, sandy right about now. One of these days, we're going to start pushing in. With this big revolt going on in the Byzantine Empire, this might be our opening. The revolt actually has Constantinople, 25,000 troops, whereas the Loyalists have 46,000. Ah, you know what? That's still an iffy enough fight that I don't want to do it yet. Okay. <sighs> Careful, Dante. You better, won't, uh, you better won't cause any problems for me or my throne, says Lil Weezy. Yeah. Well, you're two, and he's zero. All I'm gonna say, Lil Weezy, you can get your strangling hands on just in case before he strangles you. Uh, neither of you have any traits yet, because you can start with traits. Uh, actually, Lil Weezy, for a two-year-old, has one diplomacy, one stewardship, and two learning, so he's actually getting a head start on getting some stats, which is nice. In fact, I think I might give all. I might give Iraq to. Uh, to Lil Weezy, because I like to give a decent piece of land to my son so he can build prestige and wealth uh, before he inherits, and also for realm control. Um, so I think I might just give that to him. Obviously, it'll be controlled by a regent, but, you know. Speaking of, my wife is my designated regent, right? Uh, who is my regent? Designated regent right now is my mother. That's fine. She's actually quite... She's actually incredibly talented. Uh, do I prefer having her over my wife? Oh, they're both incredibly talented. Yeah, they are both Chinese princesses, aren't they? Oh, no, she isn't, actually. Yeah. She is incredibly decadent. Jesus. <laughs> Don Dante in the chat. Don't worry, Weezy. It's not like the balcony will just fall. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. That's the most CK2 thing. Oh, I'm just gonna get some air on the balcony. Whoops, the support beams gave out. I wonder why. Ah, that's amazing. All right, the troops are in place. The money is looking very healthy. I think we're gonna get back to upgrading the land, although we are upkeeping the, uh, the retinue right now. I'm sorry, levy upkeep? What levy? Oh, the levy is down. That must be out of date. There we go. 
Our money is really bad right now, though, because we haven't given away this land yet. Yeah, we own all this, and we're well above our limit. We have 16 holdings. We can only have 11 right now. Yeah. Oh, and uh, now that we own this, we can get rid of all the uh, Sunnis in it. Oh, he's already um, Sunni. Right, I want to get rid of the Shia. Sorry, I mix those up a lot. Okay, and he's already Sunni. Okay, so we're evoking all the Shia ones in there. And our Imam start converting Baghdad. Also, now that we personally control this, I'd like to invest some of my own money into upgrading the trade post there, because there's a lot of wealth that runs through Baghdad that we're not grabbing. There we go. Made a vassal for that city. And a vassal for that city. So that is all of this new land we just took is completely under Sunni control now, which will help convert the populace. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, now, if we look at uh, Sultanate of, oh, do we not actually have the Sultanate title? Let's check. Oh no, it's a Khanite, right? Cause it's held by a Khan right now. We could usurp this once they're not at war though. That's an easy to usurp uh, Khanite. We would need another duchy. We would need both of- Oh no, we have- We, we can usurp that one when they're not at war. When they're not at war, we just usurp this duchy, and then we can usurp uh, the whole kingdom, which would be a sultanate. So that's easy. We could get the proper claim on Iraq. Okay. But we started under the rule of Shi'an. We didn't convert successors. Fair point. Yeah. Uh, originally, when we started, something that really hurt us early is uh, our- Our- uh, Emir, who ruled over us in the very beginning of the game, was she and we were Sunni. And he could have just removed us and it'd be game over there because we'd be landless. Uh, which is why I immediately sucked up to him and also conspired against him. Alright. Hmm. A failed murder plot ends up with baby suplexes. <laughs> the maid trying to kill him breaks her neck, drinks her blood. Alright, let's, uh... A lot of different cultures in here. There's like three or four different cultures in Iraq alone. That's going to cause a little bit of unrest. Okay. Baghdad, I don't usually just drop forts in random places, but Baghdad is such prime land. I'm actually going to build a fort there just to delay attackers slightly to give us a little more time to defend it if need be. Because that is prime land. Really prime land. In fact, I wouldn't mind a good hospital there at some point as well. Especially considering my son is probably going to be running that place. So I'd like some disease resistance. The technology here hasn't obviously caught up with what we have in the rest of our country. But, you know. Baby TLC match, says Denjin. We, well, there was the WLC match. Um, but that was midgets, not, uh, not babies. And that match was fucking awesome. That was a great match. That's, sorry, talking about a WWE match. And before anyone gets on, gets on their high horse and goes saying, Hey, you can't say midget. That's offensive. I'll have you know, midget wrestling is a massive subcategory of professional wrestling in Mexico. It is not considered a fucking comedy thing, although there is plenty of comedy wrestling within it, as there is all of wrestling. It's considered a legitimate sport, and they call themselves midgets. So, go suck a fat dick. They are respected athletes and entertainers, and I refuse to denigrate them by not calling them what they call themselves. If anyone wants to get their fucking high horse, because this is the goddamn internet and everybody needs something to be outraged about. <sighs> anyway. Uh, wait. We can- <laughs> Wait, can death by stomping be an option? Stomp! That! Baby! That- that is still my favorite fan art I've ever gotten, is the picture of me running a game show called Stomp That Baby. <laughs> and my foot is just resting on a disgruntled looking baby. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, it's such a good picture. Hashtag MDB rant. Well, that's what the show is all about, isn't it? Uh, okay. 
We have finally done taking care of this land. Let's start giving it to our wonderful son. I wish I could just give a duchy and everything within. However, that is obviously not about to occur. So we will have to painstakingly and slowly go sheikdom by sheikdom until we can usurp that duchy. Okay, so we gotta give this one. And we're going to give, uh, we need Kirkuk. That's an odd name. There we go, and we need to give him Deer, D Dyer, I don't know, there's like a city over it. Landed Sheikdom, this. There, we've given him those three, which will all be part of that duchy. So we do that, okay. So, uh, Louise, you are now the prince of, well, the empire, but you're also personally going to be ruling over those three sheikdoms for now. I'd like to get you the whole duchy at some point, which will be an emirate title, as we're Muslim rulers. But as the equivalent of a duchy, so you'd be a duke ruling over multiple counties. Um, I'd like you to actually be the sultan of uh, Iraq once we have that sultanate usurped. We're we just need to wait for that Khanite who owns these titles to not be at war, then we can usurp both the duchy and the sultanate. And we can give both of those to you and get you the rest of this land proper. You might actually have too much land when I do this, but who gives a shit? Alright, so we're also going to give you Ker Kerbala. Kerbala? And we're going to give you... Oh my god, this one. Hold on, let me get a good look at this. Kermansasha. We're going to give that to you. So now the only one we personally own here is Baghdad, because we actually have enough holdings that we can hold it. And for now, I will hold Baghdad, because it is actually quite nice. And help develop it a little bit, although it will be going to you in the future. There we go. Uh, does the heir have an adult sibling? How is the adult not the heir by default? I don't believe he has an adult sibling, no. His only sibling is Zero. I've given all that land to a two-year-old. You can see this. Uh, all of this land here is now ruled by a two-year-old. And by ruled by a two-year-old, I mean ruled by his regent. There, he's been given this regent. Who is on quite good terms with me, and in fact I will bribe him to make him like me more, because I don't want him killing my son. There. Well, that's that's going quite well. Hey, that's a bias. Give something to your zero-year-old. Well, if my eldest dies, then the zero-year-old can have all of that. Modified heresy has appeared. Eh. Sucks, but not much we can do about that. Usurper's created another title. Oh, he created that, um... The King of Africa just created that emirate over there. I was waiting for him to do that at some point. I didn't want to pay for it. They do have half siblings. Oh yeah. Well, the heir the heir always goes to the the most powerful uh, the most powerful um, son of the of the empire. Uh, half siblings are a step below that. So a half sibling would get it if um, a half sibling or like you know a brother will get it if uh, there are no sons. How's Europe? Pretty much the same as before. It's mostly just France and Italy. And as you can imagine, Eastern uh, Europe is a fucking mess with the Rus, Kingdom of Rus owning most of it, which is usually what happens over there. Can we please clean up Egypt? Yeah, I wanna clean up Egypt. It's just there's a lot of Western protectorates around here, which you get into iffy territory of you're kind of declaring on you're kind of declaring on China at that point. I, we are pretty much at the point, though, where I think we could go a, into a regency for a year and count out before the Emperor, so I think I'll do that. Um, unrest. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go count out before the Emperor. All right, let's get going. So this will appoint a regent for probably like a year. Uh, and my current regent is my mother, who we're on amazing terms with, but I will gift her anyway. Just making sure my regent likes me. Here we go. My mother is the regent. She's an old Chinese princess who is very talented, so the country will be in her capable hands. There we go. Some usurping going on. That's fine. Fabricate a claim on Egypt. No. <sighs> okay. Man, we own some good land. 
The Ibermid, yeah, the Ibermid Empire. Only de jure has Abyssinia and Nubia. Which is stupid and arbitrary, but whatever. That's that's how titular claims tend to work. Is they're kind of arbitrary. Lost my vizier. Oh, I had a good vizier. Alright, let's get a new one. And I believe I can have female viziers now. And the best one is a female, actually. Let's get her. I believe we have enough tolerance for female viziers now. Let's check. No, I do not. Uh, I can have my wife as the vizier. Apparently that's the only eligible female. Okay, then it is. We... Oh, not him. He's paranoid. We'll take this guy, I guess. Well, I invited her to the court for nothing. We will take this guy. Just keep doing statecraft. Make sure my people like me. Make sure my threat decays faster. News from China. Political unrest has come to an end. Okay. Good. Stability is returned, which means that 25% decrease in uh, money going down the Silk Road has gone away, and I will be making more money. We're back to 996 ducats a year. Uh, he died far too young. Who is this? My brother? Oh, our caravan camp by the roadside. This guy's been uh, pouring over unusually heavy rain. The whole situation has brought me back thoughts of memories of my late brother eating all the mushroom. All oh, right, he was already dead. He died far too young. I get piety every month for five years. I wouldn't mind the piety because every time I get a thousand piety, I can do an invasion on a whole kingdom. That's pretty fucking awesome. Uh, or can say it can't dwell in the past and become healthier for for two years. I'd rather the piety for for five years. That's pretty good. Got to build up that piety. In fact, I wouldn't mind spending some research on that. Was it religious customs? No. Was it majesty? Yeah, majesty increases piety and prestige gain. Boom. I did it. So I increased it by another seven and a half percent. So we're currently getting, let me just make sure that it is up to date. It is good. We're getting 17.9 prestige a month, so 18, rounded up. And for piety, rounded up, we're getting seven a month. So I'm pretty happy with those numbers. Those are some solid numbers. And also more respect for our reign and everything for having more majesty. For counts position, only female related to your family is valid. Got it. Thank you, Lord Samuel. I did not know that. That's a pain in the ass. As the days drag on, I find myself wondering, uh, oh, how the family's doing. Right, I can either spend a bunch of money and send a letter or not spend money. Uh, I have 3,200 gold, so I will gladly send a letter back to my son, who is three. We're pen pals. Good. Just whatever makes the prince like me. Although the prince obviously likes me a lot because I've given him so much land. Alright. Just make sure my land is upgrading and whatnot. Uh, in fact, a bunch of these upgrades are almost done, so I'll hold on to a bit of money for upgrading it more. Uh, yeah, just get the town upgrading more for income. Nope. Just want those money upgrades rolling in. Those are top priority. Hey, Zilltrix. I had an idea. Marry the chick who wanted to be your vizier. I'm already married. I'm not having multiple wives. That's just asking for all my sons to get assassinated by the second wives. Lil Weezy and Dante in a Yakuza-style fisticuffs brawl. Rudimentary trade offices done in Baghdad. Good. Keep these upgrading. Get me, uh, upgrade to regular trade office, yes. One of my sultans wants to marry one of my courtiers? Sure. Uh, fellow travelers, military man exclaims, emerging alongside a group of soldiers from the trees surrounding our camp. I am Captain Yi Zing. We are here to escort my lord. He gestures to troops to join the entourage for the evening. Okay, what is this? I think you have me confused with somebody. We are explain the situation. They're disappointed, but soon they leave our people alone. Or, uh, there's been a change of plans. Well, you're honestly did not hire these mercenaries. Our caravan might benefit from some more protection. I pay quite a bit of money, although I can afford it. And hire bodyguards, giving me more martial and plot discovery chance for three years. 
Uh, I'm gonna be nice and explain the situation. They will soon leave your people alone. I do not need the bodyguards, and I would not like to keep them away from whoever they're going to be helping in the first place. What is this? Um, Sunni imams are constantly pestering me about their religion. Uh, no matter what I do, I promise to read more of the Quran. They won't leave me alone. Allah, help me be a better Muslim. Gain some piety, sure. Okay. Uh, that is training grounds finishing as well as getting some more money. So I'd like desert cavalry up. It's cheaper. That'll get me more light cavalry, heavy cavalry, and camelry. Gladly. Because heavy cavalry, I don't even think we have in our levies. That's a very rare thing to have in a levy rather than in a, uh, what's it called? Uh, English, everybody. Rather than having in a retinue. And we'll take another desert cav there. And a training ground here. That gets us down to 500 gold. Fuck yeah, camelry. We all just like the word camelry, don't we? It's a fun word. A tolerance four, only relatives, landed vassals, and female nuns are valid. Toler tolerance six, all women can, says Lord Samuel. That is good to know. So, I actually have a bit of an imperative to get tolerance as my next cultural thing, then. In fact, uh, I'm not even close. Okay, never mind. For a second, I thought I was close to being able to get it, but I'm not. Our tech speeds have gone down a lot. I think it's because of the Regency, actually, but we'll see. I really am happy. Oh, what is this? The Caliph has declared war on me. Why? He wants Arabia. He has 3,000 troops. Uh, rounded up, he has 4,000. I have 45,000. I have 45,000 troops. The guy who just declared war on me has 4,000 troops. And he has no allies in the war. He has one alliance that he will probably call in, which is another... 4,000. So that is 8,000 troops versus 45,000. I think that is the dumbest war declaration I have ever seen in this game. I have this on their border. That's 8,500 right there. Well, everybody, on uh, next week's Crusader Kings 2 stream, we absolutely stomp the Caliph. I mean, I was going to declare war on him anyway, but I guess he decided to declare war on me. I guess he just really wanted me to not piss off my vassals when I don't bother raising my own personal army. If you're watching this live, stay tuned. We'll go raid one of my friends, make their day. I'm sure Bogart's probably streaming. He's usually streaming around this time on Sundays. If you're watching this on YouTube later, the description will have both the Twitch page where you can watch this live every single Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern, as well as the playlist where you can watch this entire never-ending series in a playlist. We're almost at the halfway point of the years of the game. That's right, we're on like episode 100 and something and we're not at the halfway point of the years. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll be streaming some RimWorld again before you know it because you guys seem to really be into the RimWorld. And until next time, have a nice day.